flying down the highway at 120 miles per hour. The driver dodging cars and deputies. The teen behind the wheel isn't running from the law. He called them for help. I mean, if you can, just try neutral and make sure you're near your place where you can pull over. Uh, yeah, I tried it. It won't go. It won't go? 16-year-old Ellis Lucia called 911 last December, claiming the gas pedal inside his 2011 Hyundai Elantra got stuck. For nearly an hour and a half, dispatchers scrambled for solutions. The neutral, it won't go into neutral. He can't turn it off. The brake pedal won't work. There's nothing stopping the pedal from being pushed down. My dispatch was on the phone with him and giving him instructions on how to shut the car down, overpower it. Uh, as far as I know, none of that was working. Deputies followed close behind. I probably got above 130 trying to catch him. He says the team kept calm and his eyes on the road. Uh, when I passed him, you know, he was kind of just sitting there holding the hands, steering wheel with both hands, uh, not looking left, not looking right. Um, he wasn't really doing any evasive maneuvers. News Aid contacted Hyundai about this incident. In a statement, the company said, we have heard nothing on this, which is extremely odd for a legitimate complaint. But it's interested in seeing the car, saying it would be extremely unlikely for simultaneous and spontaneous total system failures for the brakes, accelerator and transmission to occur at the same time. After 113 miles, Lucia lost control of the car. It flipped nearly five times. Deputy Williamson pulled up to crush to metal, but the team was still alive. Glad we were able to help him out though, and uh, it could have gone a lot worse had we not uh, stayed in it with him as long as we did. The Lucia family did not want to go on camera, but they have hired an attorney.